Hi, welcome. Today we are going to solve a simple question of nuclear chemistry. It was asked in CSIR NET June 2017 question paper. Question is Consider following statements for fission of uranium 235 with thermal neutrons. Statement A is the percentage of nuclei undergoing unsymmetrical fission is maximum. Statement B is in each fission one thermal neutron is produced. Statement C is magnitude of energy released per fission is of the order 200 mega electron holds. Correct statements is R. Option 1 is A and B. Option 2 is A and C. Option 3 is B and C. And option 4 is C only. So we have to find correct statements from these three statements. Okay. Now for that uh, we will see uh, statements one by one. So the statement A is the percentage of nuclei undergoing unsymmetrical fission is maximum. So uh, in my video lecture series of nuclear chemistry in part 4 uh, which is fission yield we have studied uh, this slide. Okay. So this slide is fission fragment yield as a function of mass number in the fission of uranium 235 by neutrons. So this plot which is fish, which is of fission yield versus mass number it explains that whenever asymmetric fission take place so this is the mass numbers of lighter fragment and this is the mass numbers of heavier fragments so whenever asymmetric fission take place there is fission yield is greater than or equal to 1% again whenever there is asymmetric fission and mass numbers of lighter fragment is in between 90 to 100 and uh, mass numbers of heavier fragment which is in between 134 to 144 at that time fission yield is greater than or equal to 7% so it clearly explains that whenever there is a asymmetric fission at that time yield is more and when there is a symmetric fission that is mass number is one of that lighter fragment 117 and heavier 117 so there is a no a distinction between lighter fragment and heavier fragment both fragments have equal mass number at that time yield is only nearly 0 .0 .0 0.05 percent so observations of this plot are majority of the fissions are asymmetric that is a1 is not equal to a2 and the yield of symmetrical fission is lowest so these observations clearly proves that the percentage of nuclei undergoing unsymmetrical fission is maximum therefore this statement a is correct statement now statement b and c so statement b is in each fission one thermal neutron is produced again uh, this slide uh, we have studied it in uh, my video lectures of nuclear chemistry in part 7 uh, which is fission energy that is distribution of total energy between products of fission so whenever nuclear fission take place there is a formation of lighter fragment it takes energy around 100 mega electron holds heavier fragments it takes energy around 67 mega electron holds and the third point is important 2.5 neutrons each of 2 mega electron hold energy okay so here it, it clearly indicates that 2.5 neutrons each of 2 mega electron hold energy so it means that there is a formation of 2 to 3 neutrons during each fission so this statement b is incorrect because statement is in each fission one thermal neutron is produced but from this table we can say that there is a formation of 2 to 3 neutrons per fission therefore this statement b is incorrect now statement c 
द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ एनर्जी रिलीज्ड पर फिशन इज ऑफ द ऑर्डर टू हंड्रेड मेगा इलेक्ट्रॉन होल्ड्स नाउ अगेन सी दिस टेबल वेन एवर सी वेन एवर वी सी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ एनर्जी बिट्वीन ऑल दीज पर्टिक्युलर्स द टोटल एनर्जी इज टू हंड्रेड मेगा इलेक्ट्रॉन होल्ड्स अगेन हैविंग प्लस माइनस फाइव मिली मेगा इलेक्ट्रॉन होल्ड्स सो इट इज इन द ऑर्डर ऑफ टू हंड्रेड सो द स्टेटमेंट मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ एनर्जी रिलीज पर फिशन इज ऑफ द ऑर्डर टू हंड्रेड मेगा इलेक्ट्रॉन होल्ड इज अगेन करेक्ट ओके सो वी हैव फाउंड दैट स्टेटमेंट ए इज करेक्ट देन स्टेटमेंट बी इज इन करेक्ट एंड स्टेटमेंट सी इज करेक्ट सो अवर आंसर इज ऑप्शन सेकंड स्टेटमेंट्स ए एंड सी आर करेक्ट ओके सो दिस इज अबाउट द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ न्यूक्लियर केमिस्ट्री विच वॉज आज टीन सी एस आई आर नेट जून टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन क्वेश्चन पेपर थैंक यू